at three. There was a house recently on the market in South Tampa that piqued the interest of Lightning fans and also Lightning players. Some may even say it's good luck. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how the quest for the cup has even crossed over into the real estate market. It's often referred to as the Lightning House, a Bolt's blue coat of paint, a hockey rink in the back, sticks and equipment in the living room, boys. and a couple of Bernese Mountain Dogs named Thunder and Bolt. Thunder is about 180 pounds of pure lightning love. But this summer, the house became a free agent. For the first time since Chad Siemens built the home back in 2006, the Lightning House went on the market. It's sentimental in many different ways. We, you know, we raised our family here. We've watched many Lightning games in this house. We've celebrated on this couch I don't know how many times. Realtor Ken Jones knew a lot of Lightning fans would be calling, but what he didn't expect was to receive interest from actual players, starting with Nick Paul. You know, a lot of times you roll up to an open house, people are waiting there early, especially in this market, but to have it be him and then for him to leave this house and the following day have one of the best games in his career was phenomenal. Here's Paul, Paul trying to dance it, he scores! Ken is referring to Paul's two game seven goals against Toronto to propel the Bolts to victory in their first round matchup. It was cool to see him on TV scoring their goals just after having him here. But Paul wasn't the only player from that game to be at the Lightning House just one day earlier. And then Brian Elliott rolls through as well, and Nick looks at him like, what are you doing here? <laughs> They're going to be sitting on the plane going, I'm, I'm buying the house. No, you're buying the house. The Seaman family was hoping their house would go down in Lightning history. But it turns out a non-player ended up sealing the winning bid. They just hope the new owners don't mess with the paint job. Be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I, I like seeing the lightning blue when we pull, come down this road. As for Ken, he likes to think of himself as Nick Paul's good luck charm. Yeah, let me know if you need me. And we know those <laughs> hockey players are very superstitious. That's but right. But instead of growing out the beard, just bring Ken along That's again. That's right. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.